Right, Lamai, we'll discuss question number 35 to uh, sorry, 36 to 40. Okay, we are discussing uh, this paper. We are discussing this paper. Question from his second term test 2019 paper. Okay, in this paper, we need to discuss 36 to 40 today. 36 to 40. Right. Now, my, uh, before discussing uh, 36 to 40, at first, uh, I have a request. Okay, Ramesha uh, requested to uh, explain adjusting entries again. Adjusting entries, especially accrued expenses and paper expenses. Sorry, yes, accrued expenses and then uh, accrued income. Now, we will discuss adjusting entries at first. Huh? Adjusting entries. Right. Students, I will ask a question. What are the what are the items that we can record in general journal? Am I? What are the transactions that we can record in general journal? In grade 10, you have learned. Huh? Transactions that you can record in the general journal. What are the transactions? Lambdi. Lambdi. What are the transactions that you can record in the general journal? Lambdi. Uh, Non-current assets uh, purchase in credit basis. Yes, very good. Right. Purchase of fixed assets. Purchase of non-current credit basis. Yes, yes, we can record. And then uh, and then uh, Akshaya. What are the, uh, another transaction that we can record in general journal? Another transaction? Irishma? Irishma. Another transaction that we can record in general journal. Irishma. Lamai, when you send sending messages, uh, please send to the host. Huh? Please send messages to host. Right. Another transaction? Yes, Ravi correct. Huh? Adjusting entries. Purchase of errors. Yes. Purchase of fixed assets. Purchase of non current assets on credit basis. We can record. And then adjusting entries and correction of errors. It's a nice normally we have uh, seven transactions that we can record in general journal. But of, out of those tra seven transactions, Normally in uh, all the examiner test, only three. Purchase of fixed assets on credit basis, adjusting entries and, yes, adjusting entries and here, yeah, uh, Irishma, purchasing furniture to the business, yes, purchasing furniture on credit basis, purchase of fixed assets, purchase of market assets, okay? Then uh, purchase of fixed assets on credit basis and then uh, adjusting entries and and then a correction of errors are recorded in the general journal. Okay, those are the transactions. By then, those are the transactions that we can record in general journal. And then, and then out of those uh, transactions, one of the transactions is adjusting entries. Adjusting entries. Adjusting entries. Huh? In grade 11, you can learn adjusting entries. Grade 11, Chapter 5. Okay, Lamai. Lamai. Grade 10. In grade 10. In grade 10. Uh, under the general journal, you can learn transactions that we can record in general journal. Grade 10, page number 142, 143. In 143, last para, there are several transactions that are recorded in general journal. Out of this, correction of errors and Adjustment entries are discussed at this level. Adjustment entries. Yes, yes. And then these adjusting entries are there in grade 11 textbook. Grade 11 textbook, page number. Grade 11 textbook, page number. Chapter 5. In chapter 5, you have learned. Chapter 5. Huh? Chapter 5. Page number 69. Chapter 5, page number 69. Adjusting entries. Approved expenses, income receivable, bad debts, depreciation. Bad debts and depreciation. 
Okay, then. Huh? After the expression, sink up the shear, but bad as a lip. Those are the listing entries. Those are the listing entries. If you have a written textbook, and then the listing entries, uh, uh, in that grade 10, okay, then? Uh, under, uh, under, I just want to write down grade level, page number 69. Grade level, page number 69. Right, and then here, one is accrued expenses. Accrued expenses. Accrued expenses is what? Huh? Expenses payable. Accrued expenses means expenses payable. For example, okay, now one is accrued expenses. Here, accrued expense means, for example, let's say like this. Let's say like this, let's say, let's say, uh, let's say, uh, uh, let's say, uh, uh, this atma has a business. This atma has a business. Uh, this atma. This atma, one of the business owner. Okay, this atma, one of, one of the business owners is this atma. Then let's say, let's say, uh, this atma, uh, rented out a building, obtain a building on rent basis. This has now obtained a building on rent basis. Okay, monthly, monthly uh, rent payable amount is, let's say, uh, monthly rent payable amount is 5,000. Okay, this has now obtained a building on rent basis, and then monthly 5,000 need to be paid for this building as rent. Monthly rent. 5,000. Monthly 5,000. Let's say, let's say our financial period, our financial year starts on 1st January 2024 24 and ending date is 31st December 2024. Ending date. Starting date 1st January 2024 ending date 31st December 2024. And then here, this has now obtained billing on a rent basis. Okay, monthly rental, monthly rental is how much? Monthly rental is 5,000. Monthly rental is how much? 5,000. Let's say, let's say, let's say, uh, during the year, this has now paid 10 months bank loan, uh, sorry, 10 months rent. Okay, during the year, this has now paid this has now paid 10 months rent. 10 months rent. 10, how many? If it is 10 months, how much the total paid amount? Huh? 10 into 10 into 5,000. Total cash paid amount for rent expense, how much? 50,000. Total paid amount is 50,000. This was the double entry of this 50,000. Huh? If uh, this has now paid 50,000 for rent, then what is the double rate of this 50,000? Uh, double rate of this 50,000? How do you do? This has now paid 50,000 for rent for rental expenses. Then, what is the double rate of this 50,000? How do you do? Account debit, cash book, credit. Yes, sir. Rent expense account debit. Rent account debit. Rent account debit. Rent account debit. 50,000. Cash and then cash book credit. Cash book credit 50,000. Okay, this is now paid 50,000 for monthly rent. Okay, and then this is now paid only for 10 months. Then 10 into 5,000, 50,000. Total paid amount 50,000. Yeah, rent account debit 50,000, cash book credit 50,000. That's a double. That's a double. And then here, here, this has to be only for 10 months. Then balance two months. And now, now, when you're preparing financial statements, when you're preparing profit and loss statement, you need to use approval concept. What do you mean by approval? Now, according to accrual concept, accrual concept again, according to accrual concept, relevant income and relevant expense, relevant income and relevant expense, relevant income and relevant expense for the period 
should be recorded in profit and loss statement. Relevant income and relevant expenses for the period. Okay, in income, whether you received or not. Relevant income you need to record in profit and loss statement. Relevant income for the period. In expenses, whether you pay it or not, relevant expense for the period should be recorded. Okay, then whether you pay it or not, relevant expense for the period should be recorded in profit and loss statement. Relevant expense. But here, in this, here, here, you have record, you have paid only 50,000. In the rent account, still, you have recorded only 50,000. Only paid the amount. But in the rent expense account, you need to record a relevant amount for the period. Now, my relevant amount for the period, how much? Huh? 20 months multiplied by 50,000. 5,000. Relevant rent expense for the period, how much? 60,000. Relevant rent expense for the period, how much? 60,000. It means Okay, then after now pay it about 50,000, but we don't amount for the period 60,000. It means as well as another 10,000 is payable. Need to pay. You need to pay. Well, as 10,000. Need to pay. Okay, then that 10,000 is relevant for the current financial year as well as that 10,000 need to pay. Still, you haven't paid. But you need to pay this 10,000 in future. Then how to pass ability for this 10,000? How to pass ability, huh? Rent expense account debit 10,000 and then accrued rent account. Now, my accrued rent account credit 10,000. <laughs> accrued rent account credit 10,000. This 10,000 payable. A liability of the business liability. Rent account debit 10,000. Accrued rent account credit 10,000. A liability of the business. Liability of the business. Ramesha, is it clear, Ramesha? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. Right. Amaya, today I started my uh, grade 10, 2025 all level class. If you have your uh, brothers and sisters, please, uh, please send them a message. Okay? Okay, 2025 all level online class. Huh? Online class. And my uh, physical classes are there in Nugayabuda uh, ISM, Patramula Tinet. And then the back to the panel. Physical classes. And our online class is uh, Thursday 6 to 9, 6 to 10, 6 to 8. Thursday 6 to 8. But after your exam, after April, uh, that class is transferred to Thursday 8 to 10. 8 to 10. Okay, right now we can complete your class. And then we can finish your class in the April then. Uh, that class is transferred to Thursday, 8 to 10. 8 to 10. Okay, right. And uh, and then uh, and then in that class also, uh, there was a student. His name is Pramesh. Pramesh. I told him Pramesh, but after reading uh, the note, uh, uh, right now I noticed that. Uh, He's a boy, Ramesh. But earlier I told him uh, Ramesh. But later uh, I noticed that uh, he's Ramesh. Okay, right. Okay, right. So this one's here. Right, right, right. This is a payable balance. Payable balance. 10,000 payable. Uh, rent expense account TV. A crew rent account TV. Payable balance. Then this 10,000 transfer to current. Liability, current liability in the statement of financial position. In the statement of financial position, this 10,000 liability, liability. And then this total 60,000, this total 60,000 you will record in profit and loss statement on the administration expense, on the administration expense, on the administration expense. Okay, now I think that is called accrued rent, accrued rent expense. Accrued rent. Okay. Accrued means accrued rent means rent payable. Rent payable. Right. Now we will look at prepaid rent. Prepaid expenses. Now my dear, this is also payable. Let's say, let's say in this disaster business organization, let's say in this disaster business organization, uh, 
month rent is 5,000. Month rent is 5,000. Month rent is 5,000. But during the year, you see, but during the financial year, this has not paid. This has not paid. Rent expense for, rent expense for uh, 15 months. For 15 months, this has not paid rent. Rent expense, this has not paid rent for 15 months. Now, how much? 5,000 to 15, how much? Total rent paid amount, how much? Lamai? Seventy five thousand. Total pay the most seventy five thousand. Yes, along. Yes, along. Yes, right. Right, am I? Am I just saying? Ah, Ramisha, sorry. This is not paid. Rent for fifteen months. Okay, Ramisha, here. This is not paid. Rent rent for fifteen months. 15 months. 15 months. Then it says here 15 months. Then what is the what is the double entry for this 75,000? Double entry? Huh? Cash book. Now my cash book credit 75,000. And then rent expense account debit 75,000. Rent expense account debit 75,000. <laughs> Cash. cash paid amount, cash book credit, rent expense account. But insurance, but insurance, according to accrual concept, according to accrual concept, accrual concept, relevant income and relevant expense for the period should be recorded. Relevant income and relevant expense for the period should be recorded. Should be recorded. But here, Namai, but paid amount 75,000. But relevant amount for the period, how much? 60,000. 5,000 into 12. 5,000 into 12. Namai, relevant amount for the period. Relevant, uh, relevant rent expense for the period, how much? 60,000. And then here, this atma has paid 15,000 excess amount. Excess amount has increased. This has paid 15,000 and excess amount has increased. In the profit and loss statement, you need to record that. You need to record relevant amount for the period. But here you have recorded 75,000. From this 75,000, you need to remove 15,000. 15,000. How to remove? Huh? Students, friend expense account credit 15,000. Friend expense account credit 15,000. Prepaid rent. Prepaid rent and then prepaid rent account debit. Prepaid rent account debit 15,000. Huh? Now, right here, this prepaid rent expense of the business, sorry, uh, asset for the business. Now, right? rent expense account credit, prepaid rent account debit. And then here, this prepaid rent amount is an asset for the business organization. Asset, right? Right. In next financial year, when you pay in rent expenses, you can deduct this 15,000 and need to pay only the balance amount. Need to pay only the balance amount. Okay, then this prepaid rent is an asset, asset of the business. Now my current asset, current assets. And then now, in this rent expense account, now my 75,000 minus 15,000 means balance remaining 60,000. You need to record the profit and loss statement according to according to approval concept. Okay, ne? in the profit and loss statement, you need to record order sixty thousand. Okay, ne? under the administration expense, under expense sixty thousand. Then this fifteen thousand prepaid rent, we have a record. You need to record the current assets, current assets, current assets. Okay, then. Okay, ne? right. Is it clear? Pramisha clear or not? Pramisha? Clear, sir. Yeah, right. And then, students, uh, another example for 
uh, accrued income, accrued income. Let's say like this, one. Let's say like this. Let's say, let's say, let's say. Uh, this one. This is this is also this one. Let's say now. Let's say. Let's say. Uh, this one has a building. This one has a building. And this one can rent out this building to others. Okay, this one has a building. And then this one can rent out this building to others. By renting out this property, this one can earn rent income. This one can earn rent income. Okay, let's say, let's say like this. Let's say month rent amount is income is 10,000. Month rent income is 10,000. Okay, this one expect to get monthly. 10,000 by renting uh, uh, this property. By renting this property. 10,000 per month. Let's say, let's say like this. Let's say, let's say, our financially start on 1st January 2020. And then ending date, 31st December 2024. 2024. Let's say like this. Let's say, during our financial year, during our financial year, we received, let's say, during our financial year, we received, we received, uh, we received uh, 18, uh, we received rent income for 18, 18 months. Let's say, during the financial year, we received rent for 18 months, for 18 months. We received rent for 18 months. 18 months. Then, then 18 months in multiplied by 10,000 means rent received about how much? 108,000. They received about 108,000. They received what's the value of 108,000? What's the value of the What's the value of the upsari? Of this 108,000, what's the value of the upsari? Upsari, what's the double of this hundred eight thousand upsari? Later, what's the double in Lenora? Lenora received rent income of eighty thousand, sorry, hundred eighty thousand. What's the double entry of this hundred eighty thousand? Lenora. Lamar is you don't want in cash, what's the double entry? Tell me what's the value? Tell me. Ramesha, can you give me Ramesha? Yes, sir. Mitha. Aksha, what's the value? Business received 180,000. What's the value? Right? Like then, what's the value entry? Business collector received 180,000. Rent income, what's the value entry? Eh? Irishma, can you hear me, Irishma? Right. Uh, received 180,000 rent income. What's the value? Sonal, what's the value? Sonal. Yes, tell me. Amount of income. Tell me. I am saying the value. Tell me. 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 Tell Cash debit hundred eight thousand. Printing income account credit hundred eight thousand. Printing income account. Printing income account credit hundred eight. Cash book debit printing income account credit. Lamai. If you collect the eighteen months rent, what's the value? Cash book debit printing income account credit. 
But according to accrual concept, according to accrual concept, Lamai, you need to recognize relevant income for the period of income system. Relevant amount for the period, how much? Huh? 10,000 into 10,000 into 12, 120,000. Lamai, relevant rent income for the period, how much? 120,000. Rent income for the year. Relevant rent income for the period for the year should be 120,000. Then the money. But received amount how much? 180,000. Then excess received 60,000. Excess received 60,000. You need to recognize as a liability. Why? Liability. Now I need then here. Rent income account debit. Excess received amount how much? Uh, 6,000. Yes, 60,000. 60,000 now, now I then rent income account debit 60,000. And then rent income received in advance. When received in advance. So when received in advance account, credit 60,000. Now my rent income account debit, when received in advance account credit. Why? Now my rent received in advance means a liability for the business liability. If if the uh, if the tenant tenant pays either the, the person who obtained the building as uh, on rent basis, if that paid person requests that this sixty thousand again, then you need to repay that sixty thousand. He paid an excess amount, sixty thousand excess amount, but. If he requested again that 60,000, you need to repay that amount to me. Therefore, I made this 60,000 library. I can say, rent income account, debit 60,000, when received the account, when received in advance account, it is 60,000. Ramesha, clear or Ramesha? Clear, sir. Clear, right? And then let's say, let's say, let's say another example, let's say like this, let's say, they say like this, am I? They say, uh, they say, uh, they say, this has received only rent for only for nine months. This has not received rent, uh, rent income only for nine months. Then 10,000 into nine months means 90,000. Received about 90,000. Received about 90,000. Then what's the ability of this, and, uh, this amount? Cash book debit 90,000. Cash book debit 90,000. Rent income account debit 90,000. Received the amount in cash. My cash book debit rent income account credit 90,000. But according to accrual concept, relevant income for the period should be recorded. They love my here. Relevant amount for the period how much? 120,000. But received amount how much? 9,000. Then another 30,000 need to collect. Need to collect. Anyway, you need to record in profit and loss statement 120,000. 120,000 in the profit and loss statement. But collected the amount only 9,000. Then that 30,000 you need to record as rent receivable. Rent receivable. Then I'm here, rent income account credit 30,000. Why? Uh, you need to recognize relevant rent income for the period 120,000. And then here, rent income account debit 30,000. Debit 30,000. And then I'm here, and then rent receivable account debit. Rent receivable account debit. Okay, rent receivable account debit. Rent Receivable account debit 30,000. Now, in this 30,000 asset for the business, asset we need to collect that 30,000 in future. Asset for the business organization. Now, my, is there any doubt regarding the uh, regarding that expression? Clear or not? This is my clear. This is not. Irishma, clear. Irishma. Yes, sir. Clear, Amisha? Yes, sir. Okay, right. Then, Lamai. Uh, right. Lamai, uh, right. Then, accrued income, accrued expenses, one of the adjusting entry, huh? One of the adjusting entry. Right, right. Then, Lamai, now uh, quickly we will, uh, quickly we will uh, look at the paper. Right, Lamai, we will go to the paper. Uh, right. We go to the paper. We we'll take answers of this question, huh? Right. Right.
Austin, right? I got one of the answers from Austin. Right? Okay, we'll see. Right? Akshya or some answer? Akshya. Akshya, Lenora or some answer? Lenora? I got, I got answer from Tevumi, Irishma, right? Okay, right, 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 right here. I'm going to look at the question here. The cost of, is the percent of all the sale? Right, I'm going to stop, cost of the, is the percent of all the sale? Then here, how to calculate this, answer for this question? Huh? Opening is stop. Plus purchases, plus carriage invert and others. The cost of is not present for the sale. Right? That is not the cost of sale. Cost of is not present for the sale. But out of present uh, stocks, uh, the remaining stock is closing stock. After deducting that amount, you can calculate cost of sale. But here you have to calculate cost of is not present for the sale. Then here is the capital. Uh, opening stock 50,000. 50,000. Sales purchases 175,000 purchases. We will take here 175,000 purchases. 
Can I deliver 3,000? Parent express, salaries, bank account, status, other income, this one, right? Then I'm here. This is the carriage, you know, right? And then this is the cost of each of present before the sale. How much? How much? Huh? How much? Cost of each of present before the sale. Total 20,000. My cost of a stock presented for the sale. A stock presented for the sale. Yes, some issue you are saying. 225,000. My answer for the question number 36. Huh? Answer for the question number 36. Cost of a stock presented for the sale. Cost of a stock presented for the sale. Clear? Is it clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ramesha, okay, the Ramesha, okay, this is now okay, this is now. They will be clear, they will Clear, sir. Clear, right. Right. Now, my cost of Bishop present upon the sale and then question number 36, answer for the question number 36, huh? And then number 37. That's seven. Value of the cost of sale. Now, will you calculate the cost of sale? Will you do that? Closing stock. Closing stock. Now, by deducting closing stock, you can calculate cost of sale. Closing stock of the business. How much cost? Closing stock? 40,000. Now, my closing stock, 40,000. Closing stock, 40,000. Then, my stock present for the sale minus closing stock. Now you can calculate. You can calculate. Cost of sale of this is cost of sale. Cost of sale, how many Right. Is it clear? Clear. Answer for the question of 37. What's the answer? Answer is 37. First one is answer. Now, my answer for the question 37, first one is answer. Okay. Answer for the question 37, first one is answer. Clear? Is it clear? Right. Aksha clear? Aksha? Absar is it clear? Absar. Absar can yes. you Lerora, can you give me Lerora? Ramesha, can you give me? Yes, sir. No answers, Nick. Right. The Lamay uh, answer for the question of 30. What's the answer for the question of 30? The net profit of this business for the year the 31st December 2018 is. Lamay, how about the net profit? What's the answer for this question? Question for the question of 38, what's the answer? Now, my what's the answer for the question of 38? <coughs> so now, what's the answer for the question of 38? Net profit of the business. Can I play net profit? Second one. Second one. Right, okay.
Well, my can you see the answers? What the net profit of the business? How much net profit? Do you have five? How much was the answer? Thirty. Second one. Second one. Right. Here, sales. Total sales of the business. How much? Three hundred fifty thousand total sales. Total sales, here are 50,000 total sales. So sales minus cost of sale. 180,000. Then the swap it, how much? The swap it? The swap it? How much? 60,000, the swap it. Gross profit is 162,000 gross profit of the business. Gross profit. 162,000. And then, and then, and then, and then, now gross profit minus, sorry, gross profit plus other expenses minus, sorry, gross profit plus other income minus expenses. How much? Right, Lama here, plus other income. Minus expenses. Minus expenses. Here, look at the question properly. Uh, here, now I uh, look at the additional information. Payable salaries and wages charges for the year 6,000. Now I payable salaries. Uh, salary paid amount how much? 34,000. Salary paid amount 34,000. Okay, salary paid amount 34,000. And then here, 34,000 plus 6,000. Now I Relevant salary expense for the period, how much? 40,000. Now I salary 40,000. Salary. Salary 40,000. Salary expense for the period, 40,000. <coughs> salary expense for the period. And then, and then, 5,000 written off as bad is another bad is expense. One of the expense, bad is, then bad is. Bad is 5,000 expense. Bad is 5,000 expense. Actual information, nah, right? And then, uh, closing stock, right? Okay, done, nah, right? Then, now, right? look at the other information. Harvard's details, capital, opening stock, sales, sales, okay. Purchases, right? Carriage inward, okay. Rate, exp ah, rate expenses, 15,000. Rate expense, ah, expense, rates, ah, rate. Rates, 15,000. Rates. Salaries and wages, okay. Bank loan interest, 6,000. Right? Bank loan interest. Bank loan interest, 6,000. Bank loan interest. Debtors, other, other income, other income, 6,000. Other income, right? 6,000. Other income, 6,000. Discount allowed, expense. Discount allowed, expense. Discount allowed, expense, 1,000. Right, now I, right. Here we recorded all the expenses. All the expenses and income recorded. Quick calculate profit of the business. Am I one sixty two thousand plus six thousand? How much? Huh? How much? One sixty eight thousand. One sixty eight thousand minus total expenses. Am I total expenses? How much? Total expenses. Sixty one thousand. Huh? How much? How much? Total expenses. How much? Expenses thirty one thousand. Huh? 31,000? 30, no, 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 31,000. Yes, 67,000. 40,000 plus 5,000 plus 50,000 plus 6,000 plus 1,000. Yeah, 20,000. Yes. 60,000. 67,000 total expenses. Hundred and one thousand. Net profit hundred one thousand. Am I? Do we have an answer? No, no answer. Am I for the question clearly? No answer. Am I? This paper is the Western Province paper. 
a western province there. They are full of money. There are so many karma mistakes. So many issues in this paper. Right. Then I'm here. No answer. Here, write down only 100 and 1,000. Write down here 100 and 1,000. Okay. Write down here 100 and 1,000. No answer. Okay. Right. Right, right. Okay, right. Uh, go to question number 39. Uh, Akshya, is it okay, Akshya? Yes, sir. Right, right. What about uh, Sonal? Okay, Sonal? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, right. Oshin, okay, Oshin? Yes. Right. And then am I? Question number 39. Total equity of the owners of this is my closing arm. My closing equity is a closing equity. What is the answer for the question number 39? What is the answer for the question number 39? Answer for the question number 39. Can you give me an answer? First one. First one. First one. Five. Right. And others. Right, I'm answer for the question that I First one. Right, then how to calculate equity of the business? Equity. Equity, yeah? I got few answers. Equity, Lamai. Here you calculated profit of the business. Profit. Profit. And then in the question you can see, in the question you can see, look at the question, in the question you can see, you can see opening capital balance. Opening capital balance is 400,000. To this opening capital, 400,000. Okay? 39, 39. Right, 39, now my opening capital, 400,000. Then to this opening capital 400,000, you can add this profit. Then you can calculate closing equity of the business. 500 and 1,000. 500,000. Yes, Kevin's answer is correct. Huh? Akshaya's answer is correct. Okay, your answer is correct. Right now, here, answer is 500,000. But if you have drawings in this question, am I? If examiner has uh, provided you drawings, then drawings you need to deduct. Drawings. Okay. Here, yeah, 1,000 plus profit. 100,000, 100,000, 1, then cross equity 500,000. But if examiner has provided drawings, then drawings you need to deduct to calculate it. Okay. Right. Now, this is the answer for the question of 39. 39. Am I? Do you have any doubt? Sanjali, is there any doubt, Sanjali? Right. Am I question 40? Look at the question 40. The total value of data shows in a statement of financial portion for the year ended. Now I must ask for the question 40. Answer for the question 40. Yes, I got one answer, right? Okay, right. Yes, Akshya correct. Amisha correct. First answer. Right, Lamai, first answer. Akshya, Sansi correct. Lamai, here. Data analysis, how much? 45,000? 
then data values minus bad bits right now. So my data values is 45,000, then 45,000 you can deduct 5,000 bad bits. Then you can calculate data values 40,000. Okay, and data values you need to show in the statement of financial portion. The data balance you need to show the statement of financial portion is 4,000. Then answer for the question for 40, second one is answer, second one. Okay, second one is answer, right. Right. But Lamai, am I have you done uh, second paper? I think that for part two of the paper, you have, I think you may have done. Have you done? Right. Am I, uh... Right, we'll go to second paper. We'll go to second paper of the, right. Am I, uh, first paper is so over, first paper is over. We'll go to second paper, second paper. Second paper, first question, am I? Of the second paper, first question. Uh, here. Okay, okay, next part of the second paper, Lama, here. It should be, uh, right, Lama, yeah. please remove this one. Huh? Please remove this one. Please remove this word. Following are the transaction occurred in January month. Occurred in January. Please remove this correct. This word, please remove. Please remove this one. And then complete the question. Complete the question. Now I, I will give you 15 minutes. Try to do the question within 15 minutes. I need answers, huh? I need answers. I want to check your answers. I need to check your knowledge. Especially, I need to check your knowledge. Come I please send me answers. Try to complete question number one. Madesh, do you have the paper? Madesh, what paper you have in Madesh? Right. All right. Now I put it on my group. Come on. 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 I will give you one minute. I will send you the paper. You know, we had it there on the other paper. Hey, okay? Austin, Mamma, paper book. You have taken the paper book, Austin. Huh? Right. 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 No, sir, I have the paper book, sir, but I don't know the paper. Paper? Uh, 2019 paper. I think uh, paper... Uh, paper 6, I think. Paper 6. I think uh, you have taken really one paper book. Paper 6. 2019 Western Noise paper. Okay. Right. Now I check the group. I send the answer, uh, paper to the group. Huh? Oh, see, this is a paper. Question probably second term test 
Can you complete uh, this question within 15 minutes? Now time is uh, 9, uh, 9, 10, let's say 9, 10. Uh, 9, 15, 9, 20, 9, 20. Send me answers by 9, 25. I need to check your knowledge. I have to do this question somehow. Send me answers. If you want paper book, please uh, send me a message. Huh? Cost of the paper book is 1100. I can send you a paper book. Okay, I'm charging only cost, huh? no profit. I'm profit tag and making only cost. You need to pay fully charges to the Domex Courier Service. Right. Do the question. Send me questions uh, by. Uh, Austin, done, done, no, no, Austin. Okay, okay, right. This is not. This is the finish of this one. Has Hindu question is filled on Earth? Has Hindu? Perfect. Irishma? Okay, the done. Is Hindu? Finish or not? Is it good? Like this? Not yet, sir. Okay. Tell me, finish it. Tell me. Not yet, sir. I'm sorry. Okay, we don't have much time, therefore we'll discuss a question now. Huh? Okay, look at the question here. Uh, Chatuka and Kanchama are two best friends from their school age. They who completed their school education in a very remote school, entered the university and passed out from the university in 2018. They have followed business management degree and expect a suitable, expect a suitable job. However, they wanted to start their own business. Therefore, they started the fruit juice bar by investing money in a town in 1st January 2019. Name of the business is Chatuka Produce. Okay, right. And then 
Filing of few balances as at 1st January. Cash balance, equipment, motor vehicle, creditors. The business obtained a bank loan on uh, bank loan of 700,000 on 1st January 2019. Following are the transaction occurred in a business. Let me please remove this one. Uh, these are the transactions occurred in the January month. Purchase food, oh, you know, uh, store fruit juice, paid billing rate, paid carriage invert, credit purchases, paid employee salary. Right. And then, students, here, yeah. uh, due to hot climate at the beginning of the year 2019 and use of cold fruits, objectives of the business were achieved because of uh, hot climate. Ability to deliver cold fruit from suppliers in their village to the business was really helpful to them. Expenses are paid to the suppliers through the current account maintaining in People's Bank, uh, Peta branch. Right? The equipment uh, of the business depreciate annually 12% on a straight line method. They decided to sell fruit juice and fresh fruit as well as decided to expand the business gradually. So then, problem number one. What is the type of business that Chatuka produce belongs to? Lamai type of business organization? What type of business is this? What type of business? Uh, Apsari, what type of business? Apsari. Austin, what type of business? Austin. Yes, very good, very good. Partnership business. Let me partnership business. Let me open the mic and give me answers. I can't read messages. Right. Right. Let me partnership business. Second one, B. According to the objective of business, what type of business does this belongs to? Based on objective, how to how to classify it? Profit oriented business. Yes, very good. Profit oriented business. Profit oriented business. Right. Problem number two. A. Name two opportunities for Chatuka produce. Lamai two opportunities. Opportunities coming from the external environment. Okay, yeah. Instead of weaknesses from the internal environment, but opportunities are threat from the external environment. What's the answer for this one? From number two, A. What's the answer? Name two opportunities for the Chattuka produce. What's the answer? What's the answer? What's the answer? What's the two opportunities? Opportunities coming from the external environment. Lamai, what's the answer? Give me one answer. Yes, tell me. Lamai, if you want to reverse your knowledge, please send a message. Okay, when I'm discussing, uh, if you can't remember what is opportunity, then please send me a message. Sir, explain uh, opportunity. Then I can explain. Send me a message, no problem. Huh? Right. Come on. Two opportunities. This up now. Two opportunities. This up now. Come on. Huh? Huh? Opportunities coming from the external environment. Opportunities. Huh? Strength and weakness in the internal environment. Yes, Lakdi, yes, correct. Yes, Absar, correct. Now, I, strength and weaknesses in the uh, internal environment of the business. First, opportunities coming from the external environment. Opportunities and threat. Then, business organization need to identify opportunities and threats. In this question, here, in this case, you can see these are the opportunities. Right? Hot climate. 
for primate urine they are one of the opportunity therefore they can sell more produce from a hot climate one of the opportunity another one another one ability to deliver quality goods from suppliers to their village uh, from suppliers to the business that my another uh, opportunity ability to deliver quality goods from suppliers in their village to the business organization another opportunity another opportunity okay there okay there yes quality good yes Shaima correct, huh? right. Right. I will mean, call it Pusha. Huh? Right, right, very good. Right. And the Lamai. From now to part B. What type of business environment does a supplier who provides produce fruit of this business belongs to? Simple question, what's the answer? External environment. Yes, yes, external environment. Huh? External environment. Right. External environment. Right. Number one, number three. To what type of management function does the marketing department, sorry, making decisions of gradual expansion of business belongs to? Now, I mean, the question number three. What kind of uh, management function does the making decisions, now, I mean, making decisions belongs to what? Planning organization, lady control, what's the answer? Let me what's the answer for the question number three? A. Making graduate, making decisions, let me belong to our big management function. Planning organization, lady control, what's the answer? Aksha versus Aksha. Eh? No one. Aksha missing. Right. Yes, yes, Madesh. Correct. What's the answer for this question? Yes, Sanjali, correct. Lamai, billions of planning. Lamai, please send me answers quickly. We don't have planning, huh? We don't have planning. Okay, then. Uh, making decisions, we don't have planning. Making decisions, we don't have planning. Right. Part B. From Lamadri, part B. Write your idea about registering the business name of Satuka Bujus. Lamai, write your idea. Registering the name of the business, Satuka Bujus. Lamai, what's the... Uh, uh, right, your idea is sir. Idea about the registering the business name. First answer. Shaima, first answer. Shaima. Is it your first answer? Is it Ramesha, what's the answer? Ramesha. Registering the business because the name of the business is not in the full names of the owners. Yes, yes, very good. Uh, the business is conducting using another name. Without using partner's full name, therefore, name of the business should be registered. My answer should be, uh, the business is conducting using another name without using full names of partners. The business is conducted using another name, another name without using full names of partners. Therefore, name of the business should be registered. Now, what is the relevant act? What is the relevant act to register the partnership business? How I relevant load? Huh? Business name ordinance. Yes, yes, very good, Ramesha. Business same audience number 6 of 1980. That's the answer. Okay. 
which are same order some system identity. That's a relevant loop related to registering of this function business. Right. Okay, then right. Right. Lenora clear, Lenora, okay then. Right. Next one. According to the given case, what type of account should be maintained in People's Bank, Peta Branch, do check transaction. Lama what's the answer? For the A what's the answer? Open the mic and give me answers. What's the answer? Current account. account. Yes, current account. Right. And then I write to benefit of above account. Now I benefit of current account. What are the benefits of current account? Give me two benefits of current account. Now I overdraft. Overdraft facility. Yes, and then transaction conducting transactions from checks. Yes, yes, and then another one. Now I need grade level, page number 11. Ability to make payments via checks. Ability to obtain bank order facilities to collect remittances, to activate the standing orders, receiving bank statement. Receiving bank statement. Now I summon the advantages. Page number 11, grade 11. Okay, ne? benefits of current account. Benefits of current account. Right. Problem number 5. What's the answer for the problem number 5? Look at the number five. Am I? Find the impact of accounting equation of the information given in Chatuka produce as at 1st January 2019, including the obtaining bank loan. Am I? 1st January 2019, you need to write down the bank accounting equation, including bank loan. Including bank loan. Right. Now, I how to write the accounting equation of this business for the first January 2019. Huh? Now, I okay, first January 2019 for this day, accounting equation for this day. If you want to explain something in detail, please send me a message. Okay, please open the mic and tell me. I will explain again. Now, huh? I will explain. Okay, Lamai. This is not only a paper class, paper class with provision. Okay, today Ramesh request to discuss adjusting entries. Therefore, I explain adjusting entries. Only accrued expenses, accrued income. Okay. If you if you want to explain something in detail, please send me a message. And time to time I will explain. Okay, time to time I will explain. Required matters, no issue, no problem. Okay, again, I need to revise your knowledge in bad consideration, correction of errors. We'll do what? Uh, we'll do correction of errors. And uh, in my grade 10 class, grade 10 means new grade 11 class, uh, within another two days, I'm going to discuss correction of errors. I will let you know, then uh, if you want, you can do it. Okay, but uh, with grade 11 session, Okay, uh, while conducting the level session, uh, I'm going to discuss question of errors as well. But I will stay, uh, I will let you know if you want, you can go into that class, huh? right? Question of errors. Right, Dilava here, here, first January 2019, on this date, on this date, uh, accounting equation. Now, my basic accounting equation is what? Huh? Asset of the business equal to assets of the business equal to equity and liability. 
Depend on liability, mama. Assets of the business equal to equivalent liability. This is the basic accounting equation. This is a basic accounting equation. And then mama, on this day, here, here, mama, uh, they have invested cash five hundred thousand. Cash five hundred thousand. Or mama, opening balance as me. Opening cash five hundred thousand. Mama, opening cash balance five hundred thousand. Opening cash balance. And then equipment hundred thousand. Mama, equipment balance. Open equipment balance hundred thousand. Mama, hey, the balances available in this business. Equipment hundred thousand. Motor vehicle four hundred thousand. Mama, motor vehicle asset. Asset the motor vehicle. Motor vehicle asset four hundred thousand. And then in the way, opening creditors to an opening creditors liability. My opening creditors liability. Opening creditors liability. Two hundred thousand. Now, those these are the opening balances. These are the opening balances of this opening balances. Before recording bank loan, these are the opening balances. Before recording bank loan, these are the opening balances of the business. Then here, here, opening cash how much? Opening cash of the business organization of 1 million. Opening cash 1 million. And then opening liability how much? 200,000. Opening liability 200,000. Opening liability. In your business organization, in your business organization, opening assets minus opening liability. Remaining balance belongs to whom? Remaining balance belongs to owner. If you are the owner, from total assets, here in this business, owners, RG business, RG business, then in this business organization, opening assets minus opening liability, uh, equity how much? 800,000. Open equity 800,000. Open equity 800,000. Open equity. Okay, now I have opening assets minus opening liabilities here. Open equity 800,000. And then you need to prepare accounting equation for the first January 2019, including bank loan. And then now here, now here, open bank loan. These are the opening balances, huh? These are opening balances. Then here, open bank loan, how much? 700,000. How to record? Huh? Received cash from the bank loan, my bank loan. Received cash to the business, 700,000. Received cash to the business, 700,000. Received cash to the business, 700,000. And then now, Cash plus liability plus. Right, including bank loan, this is a common age. Here, 1,700,000. And then here, uh, equity 800,000. Plus liability 900,000. And this is the opening accounting equation. Accounting equation for the first January 2019. Clear or not? Is it okay? Shaima, is it okay, Shaima? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. Absari, okay, Absari? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. okay? Is it okay? Sir, is it okay? sir. Okay, right. Irishma, is it okay? Irishma. Irishma, is it me? Yes. Right. Madesh, Mishing, Madesh, is it okay, Madesh? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. 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 Opening assets right here, equity and then liability. Right now, I here you can get uh, you can write down this opening balance like this as well. Now, now I asset belongs to one and then now I here you, you can uh, write down like this as well cash 500,000, equity plus 500,000, and then. Uh, here, equipment 100,000 belongs to owner. 
So my motor vehicle also belongs to owner, one of the person. There's our liability, you need to deduct from equity. Answer is 800,000. Answer is 800,000. Sometimes your school teacher may prepare this type of accounting question like this. Okay? Cash, cash. Equity, equity. Motor vehicle, equity plus. Liability, liability, liability. Liability minus from it. Okay? Balance is 800,000. Another method, right? Okay, right. Okay, and then, uh, 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 right. Oh, again, okay, question number six. Question number six. Another, again, they ask the question related to equity of this. Yeah. Second one is here. Yeah, second one is uh, sorry. Fifth one is write the impact of accounting equation of the information given in chapter for use, including obtained by my accounting equation in my right. Okay, and then again they ask, what is the value of equity of the business for the right? What is the value of equity? Eight hundred thousand. Answer for the question number six A eight hundred thousand. Eight hundred thousand. Okay, then right, you're right. And then Lamai, state the value of liability of the business as at 31st January 2019. Lamai, value of liability, how much? Lamai, uh, how much value of liability? Can you give me the answer? The value of liability? Lamai, send me a message. Ramesh, how much? How much? How much? Lakdi, how much? Lakdi. Nine hundred thousand. Huh? Nine hundred thousand. Nine hundred thousand. Right. Twenty. Right. right. This is not. How much the liability? As of thirty first January. How much the liability? Nine Absari, how much? Absari. Let us know how much the liability. First January. Sorry, third January. Absari. I got an answer. 915,000. All right. Okay, right. Right. Lamai, how much the liability? Here, Lamai. Here. Answer for the question. 6B, possible to 6B. Liability. Liability. Tell my first January. First January 2019. Liability 900,000. 900,000 first January 2019. And then this question. Uh, purchased fruit, right, 80,000. Sold fruit, paid billing rate, paid carriage invert of fruit, credit purchases, uh, credit purchases, uh, credit purchases. Credit purchases, 15,000, credit purchases. And then, right. Yes, that's it. Now I, opening, Amount and then I credit purchase is the nine hundred fifty thousand. Yes, nine hundred fifty. Yes, Absar, your answer is correct. Huh? Absar, nine hundred fifty thousand. Answer is nine fifty thousand. Right. And then I'm here. Calculate the value of cash balance. How to calculate cash balance? Quickly, we can calculate cash balance of the business. Uh, adjustment number seven. Seventh adjustment. Adjustment number seven. Adjustment seven adjustment. Cash balance. Cash book. 
to my cash book. Opening cash book balance how much? Opening balance 500,000. How much? 500,000. And then they obtain a bank loan how much? And then my opening balance. Right. Equipment, we can record, motor vehicle, account record, creditors, account record. Uh, obtaining bank loan, 700,000. Bank loan. Bank loan, 700,000. Attend the issuance. Purchase of fruit, uh, cash outflow, cash book credit. Purchases of fruit, 8,000. And now I sales, sales, 200,000. Cash inflow, cash book debit, sales. Pay billing rate. Rate 10,000. Carriage inward pay 8,000. Credit purchases, we can record. Paid employee salary 5,000. Salary 5,000. Bye bye. Calculate the closing cash flows. Cash inflow debit, cash outflow credit, nothing else. Now, I cash inflow debit, cash outflow credit. By looking at the question carefully, you can get the answer. Cash inflow debit, cash outflow credit. Right, how are the closing cash balance? Now, how are the closing cash balance? One thousand four hundred. You decide one million four hundred thousand. And then balance carry down how much? One million two hundred ninety seven thousand. Is it correct? So is it correct? Closing cash balance, is it correct? Tell me, one million two hundred ninety-seven thousand is it correct? Correct, sir. Correct, correct. Five minutes, five minutes, five minutes. Let's go. Is it correct, sir? Is it correct, sir? Uh, question number uh, eight. Question number eight. Question number eight. A simple question. Simple question. Provide the correct double entry with value of the bank loan. Cash book debit seven hundred thousand. Bank loan account credit seven hundred thousand. Simple la. Cash book debit seven hundred thousand. Bank loan account credit seven hundred thousand. Anyway. Question number eight. Eight. Bank loan cash book credit. Bank loan account credit seven hundred thousand. Next one, is there the impact of obtaining bank loan? Lamai, obtaining bank loan impact is what? Asset increase by 700,000, liability increase by, yes. Asset increase, asset increase, huh? asset increase. Asset increase. <laughs> Now, uh, how about the depreciation of the month? Can I give me depreciation of the month? Depreciation? Now, here in this question, uh, equipment of the business depreciated annually 12% of the sale method. Equipment 12% annually. Now, uh, equipment depreciation how much? Ninth one. I got one answer from Ramesha. Very good. Equipment depreciation. I got one answer from Ramesha. How much the equipment depreciation? From Sanjali, 12,000. Yes. How do we see? Sanjali. Lenora, how much? Lenora. Ah, Madhesh, right. Uh -huh. Here, depreciation only for the January month. Time, how much? Only for the January month. Time, how much? But for the whole year, only for the January month, then uh, equipment 
Tama yung order calculate depreciation. 100,000 into 12% into 1 over 12. Into 1 over 12. Depreciation only for the general man. They need to 1 over 12. Then how much depreciation? Yes, summation answer is correct. 100,000. Sorry, 1,000, 1, huh? 1,000. 1,000. Absari, okay, Absari? Yes, sir. Right. This is not okay. This is not right. Last one calculate the net profit of the business for the general month. Now, my net profit of the business uh, will calculate net profit. Huh? Quickly, we will calculate net profit of the business. Net profit of the business now, my depreciation is 1000. Huh? Uh, one of the important part of this question is calculating net profit. In most of the uh, first question of the second paper, examiner test net profit of the business. Net profit. We will calculate. Here, we will calculate. We will take it as uh, income minus expenses. Profit or loss statement. We will calculate uh, income minus expenses. Income minus expenses. So here, uh, income minus expenses. So I simply be calculate income minus expenses. Right. Uh, purchase of fruit expenses. Purchase of fruit expenses. Sold sales two hundred thousand sales. Simple. Pay building rate, la rate, rate 10,000. Expense. Carriage invert, la my carriage invert, 8,000. Expense. Carriage invert, expense, 8,000. Allow my credit purchases of fruit, 50,000. Now I then total purchase how much? La my total purchases, uh, 95,000. Huh? Total purchases, 95,000. Cash purchases first, credit purchases, 95,000. Salary by thousand salary. And then my another one is what depreciation one thousand depreciation. You will record depreciation. Right. Yeah. I calculate the profit. Income minus expenses. How much? Five thousand, hundred thousand, hundred eighty, hundred ninety, hundred ninety thousand. And profit how much? How much profit how much? How much profit? How much the profit? Tell me, you haven't recorded the depreciation, eh? Yeah, tell me, what depreciation is done, eh? No, sir. Right, that's the only issue. Right. How much the profit of the business? Sir? 81,000. 81,000. Profit is 81,000. Now, right. the first question is over. Next, we will discuss other questions. Yes, other questions. Uh, we will discuss now next day other questions. Huh? No need to do at home. We will discuss those questions uh, in the class.
Five. Okay. Next, we try to complete other questions. Right. Am I? Good night, huh? Good night. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Good night. Thank you, sir. God bless you, sir. Okay, okay, good night. Okay, right. Thank you, sir. Good night. Thank you, sir. Good night. Okay.